This must be the junk capital of the universe. Stop the No welcome, Wagonello stranger, with that good coffee flavor for you. <laughs> Offer expires while you wait. Operators are standing by. Okay, here's another unboxing video. This is a package I just received today from the Chosen Prime. And uh, there are three pretty expensive items in here. So I'm going to open this on camera the best that I can with one hand while I'm recording with the other so like I always said I like to um, open all sides of the box so that um, I can easily fold it up to throw it away so um, I don't like how they taped it like that let's get this side and open that and flip it back around to the front. Get the blade. Do that and now let's see what's in here. Nicely packaged. So we got the next three junkions. So now let's uh, move this box out of the way. Let's see, this should be uh, G H I. So here they are, still in there package and uh, I think what I'll do here is maybe I will put these on the display shelf before I open okay, I don't like that how the uh, plastic is this they put the sticker right on the right on the plastic that's not that's not too good so now how do I let's see maybe I'll do this I'll just uh, cut this open this way but just get a look at uh, one of the box, I don't know, De debris. So yeah, I think I will just put these on the sh shelf so then I can uh, do a unboxing video. Okay, so I moved over to a different shelf to finish opening up the rest of these three new Junkion figures that I got So again Here is the first one that I opened and took out of the box this one's a uh, debris and uh, Let's see if I can try to get a good look at the box here's the front With uh, kind of hard to see name because of the metallic uh, finish that they put on there but it looks really nice it's a really nice uh, artwork really like that I don't know who their artist is but uh, do a really good job and so here's the back what it includes little bio 
some warning the sticker covering it let's see the side of the box these are really nice packaging I mean if you know I mean these things are not cheap to produce I mean all this paint and finish it's a nice packaging design okay so now let's open up this second one and hopefully that sticker is not placed right on the, the plastic cover so yeah so now here is the what's this this is i we're trying to find it um, anyways uh this is uh what's his name waster delta so here's the front of the box with another nice drawing and illustration of the character the back of the box with uh, what it includes some bio some warning and then the side of the box the other side of the box the nice uh, illustration there schematic of the alt mode so that is a uh, waster delta what is this this should be I that this is J G this should be H I'm sorry this should be H I'm trying to see where they put that on the box it should show somewhere I just don't see it I thought I saw it on the front somewhere uh, okay but anyways then we'll go down to I. I think this is I, so let's open this up. To take that tape off the plastic and remove the box. Of this plastic, yeah, it was uh, taped right there. So here's a look at the front of the box with another nice drawing illustration of the character this is a uh, smithereen it's the front here is the back with what it includes the bio some warning and then also the side of the box the other side with the schematic of the uh, alt mode and yeah here it is P61 let's see oh, I don't think I went over all of them the top are the same and the bottom are the same so now I guess let's just see here yep here they are so the next junkie on set I have G H I waiting for the last two of their junkions by KFC. Okay, so now let's do a unboxing. Let's take uh, 6G. I already uh, opened that one because they put the sticker on the plastic. And let's see what we get inside here. Make sure the box is empty. Of course, you're going to get your instructions with the lovely bio card. I love those. And then some accessories, which these you're going to have to be careful to really make sure you're getting them all. So we get two shoulder pieces, two of these. Uh, things for the knee 
some brakes, some side view mirrors, and some accessory thing here. Um, just got to take note of that and remember it. Get one of his tires, you get the other tire. And that's all inside. Now I'll take it out of the clamshell. Yes, I like how there's no tape on here. Makes it easier just to open up. And now let's take a look at the figure. And I already see something kind of interesting that they now, like X Transbots, copying fans toys with their <laughs> QC sticker. Interesting. So let's just uh, make sure we got this all set up so he can stand without any armor or accessories and there you go let's, uh, let's kind of put his accessories here with uh, his bio and instructions underneath and then let's uh, I unfortunately don't keep the boxes because there's just too many boxes and I don't have enough space anymore so gotta get rid of those so now let's open up the next one waste store Delta okay let's uh, cut that tape uh, open this up Pull this out. Wow. So again, the instructions with the nice bio card. Really like that. Get one tire. Get the other tire. And then you get a bag of the accessories. Okay, just got to make sure you take note of these. Get two guns, two of these uh, points for his uh, knee joint, some shoulder armor, and get uh, brake handles and side view mirrors. And now, let's see, let's open this clamshell. Take them out of the uh, bag and see what we got here. <laughs> nice uh, clickety ratchet joints. Actually, tabs in on the feet right here. Interesting. And that's what he looks like. So, put this one back in the box pictures of these before I throw them away. Whoops. Got to put the cover of the clamshell on here. Boy, if only I can keep the uh, these boxes because like I was telling you, these boxes are really nice. It's a uh, packaging design and you know, you can just see how nice, you know, they did all this hard work, paint, color, but uh, I don't have room for it. And now the last one. This is a uh, smithereen. So now let's open this one up. Let's see what's in this one. See, open this up, pull this out. Yeah, I like how they get all this all nice set up. Let's see, you get the instructions, get the nice bio card. Oh, this is interesting. You get a tire, you get a tire with no rim inside. Is that right? There should no rim inside. Let's see here. We get the two shoulders, 
he had uh, some points for his knees, two of these attachment, um, the side view mirrors, some brake handles, and his uh, weapon with some gray piece here. Okay, this concerns me right here. Is it supposed to be like that? Um, I don't know. Let's open this one up. Take out the figure. And put this one back in the box. And then take out this figure. And uh, what's this? This thing. Oh, it looks like it uh, came untabbed from here. Okay. Untab the legs. Get this all straightened out. And uh, I just to make sure, I got to open this just to find out about why this has no rim in here um, so let's take out the instruction the bio card which is nicely wrapped up back of the bio okay should have it in here okay so it looks like that's correct. Guess there's another way you can just check to see what's uh, what should be in the box. So that looks okay. And now let's just uh, take a look at all three of them after being taken out of the box. And uh, I'll put the uh, accessories on and then take a look from there. Okay, here's another look at uh, the figures, the three new Junkions, after I did a lot of work to take all these accessories out. Uh, it would have been nice if they could have put them in these little Ziploc bags, but they didn't. And uh, here's the instructions, with the bio. And I think I'll just go over their accessories because I should have known that um, that they put the accessories here. This is really nice. I wish all third-party companies did this, just so you know what the content is, what should be inside. So take another look, and then just make sure that you got all those things. And another quick look at the bio card because it's a nice artwork and I also didn't show the backside with the text specs. So this is really nice. And then the next one, well this one was debris. This one is waste store delta. And so now let's take a look at the instruction so you can see what you should get in there and then just make sure you got all the accessories and then just another quick look at the bio card this is a really nice uh, artwork and the text back on the back so these are really really nice and the last one uh, which is smithereen and let's take a look at the inside the instructions to see what you should get so it is missing a rim off that uh, one tire oh, it's kind of interesting to see if uh, how that forms a 
wheel. And then I know I didn't go over all of them. I don't think I want to, but it'd be nice just to be able to, you know, see all the instructions. But this is a, <laughs> a lot of uh, pages here, so I'm not going to go through all of them. But that's it. Just uh, another quick look before I put these all on. And I just want to point out also, this would be really nice if uh, Hasbro made all of these. And if Hasbro is smart, they would, they probably already know if they did make all the Junkions, they could probably make a lot of extra money off of them. Like how they're always doing the Seekers and repaints. They could do the same thing with these Junkions. And one last thing, you know, these pieces here, you can easily lose them when you put them in. Like the knee, it might come off and you might lose them. This one I'm thinking I might put a little dab of Elmer's glue. But as far as these other ones, you just gotta be really be careful because if you lose these, you're, you're out. And when I put them away, I, I just let you know I put them all away in uh, Ziploc bags so um, I don't lose them. So here's a Ziploc bag, and I'm going to put them all in there afterwards. So that's just a look, and now I'm going to put them all together. Okay, here's a look at them now all armed up with their accessories. So there's debris, here's waste store delta and smithereen. And just showing you how I take care of them. I put them already in the Ziploc bags with the uh, you know, the side view mirror, brake lights, because um, I don't want to attach them in robot mode, because um, out of fear of maybe losing them. And speaking of fear of losing them, I want to point out that um, when I got a closer look at this guy, Smithereen, this antenna was missing, and I went into panic mode because I don't want to have to contact the Chosen Prime. But, you know, I had a suspicion that maybe somehow it came out, and it did, and it went inside here. So I had to uh, start opening up all these parts just to get in there, and thankfully I found a missing piece. So just want to share that in case um, you know, someone else gets one of these and is missing parts, just you got to check everywhere. I mean, I also did check uh, all the packages and the box, and that was where I found the missing piece. But anyways, um, here's a look at them. And let me just do a little close-up look quick close-up look at them. So here's debris and uh, let's take a look at that uh, head. That's a really is a nice looking head. These are all nicely sculpted um, but um, it's hard to say what the issue is. I mean, the plastic seems fine. I don't, I'm not worried about more breakage, really. I'm worried about more like plastic parts cracking uh, when you're trying to manipulate this during transformation. Because some of these parts, it looks like they made them tighter, or maybe that's the mold got tighter. But, um,. The uh, are a little bit tighter, like uh, these little um, horns on the, the knee. They fit in much more snug, so I don't need to put a dab of glue on there. But uh, if 
you just look, I mean, you can appreciate just how nice this is and the variety that you get with all nine Junkions that I now have. So that's debris, and then now this is Waster Delta. <laughs> that's a nice head. Um, just a close up look at the, the chest and this gun. It's a hip and waist. So yeah, I, I go over some things. I mean, the the hip joint does have some uh, ratcheted articulation, but not the knees. It's really on a tight. Uh, let me just check here. It's on a tight pin or screw. Is, is this what I was telling you? These parts are now so tight. So, yeah, it looks like there's a screw. Um, take that as you will. I mean, you can tighten it if it loosens up, but um, yeah, that's just how they wanted to make it. It's uh, a lot of the shapes and detail. It's not overly detailed. That's what I also like. Um, keep it a little bit more simple to be more cartoon aesthetic. So here's the back. Really nice. So let's uh, bring it down. And uh, so that's a uh, Waster Delta. And now Smithereen. Come on over this area. Interesting uh, design. Let's get a close up of that head. Really nice. Like I was telling you, that uh, antenna fell off. It's the back. It's a really nice uh, sculpted figure. Um, not overly detailed. So, and those uh, horns on the knee, they do fit in nice and tight. So, this is really nice. So, yeah, I didn't go through all the articulation, but they're all the same. A ratcheted shoulder goes out uh, that far because of the shoulder armor. It's uh, a screwed, uh, no, yeah, it's hinge, double hinge. That's funny. The lower hinge is ratcheted. The hands, these are nice uh, articulated uh, hands. I do like them. Uh, this part worries me because it's a really thin ball joint. But it's not the same uh, X Transbots plastic, so it seems like it, that small piece is holding up. Uh, let's see. I already mentioned the ratcheted uh, leg, the uh, screwed um, hinge for the knee, and then the foot. Yeah, no ratchet, but there is a ankle rocker up and down so this is a uh, you can articulate this so this is really nice and so here are all my three new junkions and then I think I'll pull out the other ones so I can get a nice group shot current group shot before the last two come out